What's tolerance? And uh, why are Christians very often called intolerant? So a short, a short definition for tolerance, or at least for religious tolerance, is that civil people, polite people, can agree to disagree. Uh, it's saying that it's okay if we disagree on this thing, this idea, but we can still be friends. Uh, we can still have a polite, cordial relationship. Uh, at least that's what tolerance used to mean, what it, what it really should mean. But in the, the mid-20th century, maybe the 60s and, and forward pretty much, um, there's a new def definition of tolerance, tolerance so-called, that has its roots in postmodernism and in relativism. And that has become more prominent to the point that today, that's really, if you, if you hear somebody in the media, on the news saying something is tolerant or intolerant or somebody is tolerant or intolerant, that's what they're meaning. And today it means something more like it's impolite to disagree with anybody. It's impolite to make the claim that one thing is better than all the rest. And it's impolite and it's intolerant to say that one thing is wrong and another thing is right. That's, it. that's tolerant or that's intolerant. Um, so with, where people will often call Christianity intolerant is they'll say, well, you, you guys say that Jesus is the only way to heaven. And the reason that we say that is because that's what the Bible says, quoting Jesus. And it's in John 14, 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father through me, except through me. Uh, what that means is that unless you're a believer in Jesus, you're not going to heaven. That's a that's a, a line in the sand. That's clear truth, and it means that Christianity is better than all of the rest. And so we get called intolerant because we've drawn that line in the sand. We have made the claim that one thing is better than all of the rest. And and very often cri critics of Christianity will point to another verse in the Bible, actually in the same. Same book of the Bible. They'll go to John 3.16 and they'll say, Well, God so loved the world that he sent his only Son, that whosoever would believe in him and not perish but have eternal life. So they're, they're looking in that God loved the whole world. And they're saying, See, God, God loves everybody. But they're not looking at the part that it's the people who believe in Jesus, in the Son of God, who go to heaven. So... They're, they're not looking at the, at the whole Bible verse for one thing. Uh, but then they, they la they'll ask the question, well, how, how can a loving God possibly send somebody to hell? Mm, I'll ask the same question, but in a parenting sense. How can a loving parent never discipline their children? If you never discipline their children, if you as a parent never discipline your children and they have no rules, I would argue you really don't love your children because they're not going to live well in a society that has rules, which this society has rules, like it or not. So, I would look at John 3.16 and say, yes, God does love the whole world, but the, the love that is shown to unbelievers is different from the love that is shown to believers. Unbelievers experience God's love because they are loved by believers. Believers experience God's love because they're the ones who believe and will go to heaven. So I as a Christian, because I am tolerant in the old sense, I as a Christian will go out into the world and I'll love even the people who disagree with me in a tolerant sense. And that's not so with the culture today that says, because I'm drawing a line in the sand, they won't tolerate me. Uh, we, we get called intolerant because we draw a line in the sand and we say that if you want to go to heaven, you have to believe in Jesus. And it, it is strange to me that Christians are willing to agree to disagree. We are tolerant in the old sense. And it's not only Christians who make the claim of having the one true religion. And it's not only Christians who draw moral lines in the sand saying that this behavior is 
right and moral, and that behavior is wrong and immoral. But in Western society, most of Europe and North America, under the guise of so-called tolerance, it is mostly Christians who are called intolerant. But we're not the only ones who draw those lines in the sand. So my question is, does that sound very tolerant to you?